Good morning to everybody. Welcome. And we can start with the official opening of the project with Eteria and now transborder experiences within the interactions of artists. Generally, we need uh, to work for the for the title to find uh, an acronym uh, and uh, also I enjoy it always to, to find uh, an acronym that sometimes can lead us in a very strange uh, terrain, but also in this case, I think that there is some uh, stimulating senses connected with this title that I will try to explain this. And also, this is a project uh, supported by European Union, the cultural agency of the European Union, uh, in the framework of the creative program. And also, uh, this is an international project coordinated by the Italian Center of the uh, International Theatre Institute of Italy. Uh, the, I am the president of the Italian Center of International Theatre Institute in partnership with the Teatro Tsitsakintos from Greece, Nash, National Archaeological Museum of Constanza in Romania, North Macedonian Center of International Theatre Institute of North Macedonia, and Augmented and Virtual Reality Lab, Department of Engineering for Innovation of University of Salerno. The project aims to the creation of innovative models in the field of the social and community theater and conflict transformation through the performing arts based on audience engagement and intercultural sustainability and on the creation between artists, migrant persons, uh, innovation engineers, video makers and creatives. The project intercultural methodologies are aimed at giving artistic and cultural tools for facing the human, social, and political crisis generated by the pandemic and by the current unexpected conflicts that we are living in European territory. Culture and creativity, creativity provide the women and men with new and unprecedented ways to go through together at the end and envisage the implementation of a target co-working on the issue of conflict and its audiovisual narrative between Italy, North Macedonia, Greece and Romania. A theatre workshop is made in Skopje, North Macedonia, on the topic of unknown memories of conflicts. Three thematic artistic residencies are held, titled Conflict and Memories, Crossroads and Borders, and conflict and migrations. The order of the residences will be crossroads and borders in Romania, conflict and memories in Greece, and conflict and migrations in Italy. The three important but partially abandoned archaeological sites in Greek, Romania, and Italy. An international theatre co-production is made and played in all the sites. Eteria means the the meaning is uh, not very simple because it's created by a multiple level of meaning, but uh, Eteria for us is uh, mainly the alliance of the bodies, the creation of a company that aims to go beyond separation through the artistic encounter. In this historical moment, it's very clear that it's very important uh, to find a, a common way to elaborate uh, and also to work through the dimension of memory. In these weeks, uh, also, there is a, a very stimulating debate in Italy concerning the relationship between memory and history. What is the meaning of the relationship of memory and history? We know that there is an element, the memory is something collect, connected with the uh, individual dimension because uh, everybody, each one has a memory and the history sometimes is something not connected with the individuality. But uh, there is a dynamic very important that 
create a connection, sometimes very rich, sometimes very dangerous, between memory and conflict. From the, uh, it's very clear that also for generally for uh, ITI, it's very important to remember what is the chart of uh, ITI. The chart of International Theatre Institute comes from UNESCO chart. And the chart of UNESCO comes from the end of the Second World War, in which many population, country, and inside the country, many civil dimension of uh, conflict uh, uh, has lived uh, in a very, very terrible way. And the art, mainly the performing arts, was a very important instrument, a very important tool to overcome the problem. In this moment, we are sure that the performing arts can work to create a different framework that overcome the dimension of the conflict. In this moment, for example, in Italy, the public discussion, the policies is connected always how many weapons has to give to Ukraine to defend, but there is no dimension for the overcome the dimension of the conflict to find a different solution in these last more than 20 years uh, uh, we have worked a lot many of us have worked a lot in the, the topic connected with the theater in conflict zones also i i am the secretary of the network of uh, iti international theater institute worldwide of theater in conflict zones network and we are organizing for the next week, for the next Tuesday, around the table in the World Congress in Fujaira, in uh, Arab Emirates, uh, uh, on the topic of uh, uh, acting peace is the title of the round the table, because it's very important to create the condition to have a discussion to build the peace. That is not only possible to give the opportunity only to the weapons. We know it's a very, very delicate topic, this one. It's not easy. And also, we have to remember always, also, it, uh, I, it's clear that uh, Romanian uh, heritage, the North Macedonian heritage, the Greek heritage, and Italian heritage is deeply connected with the dimension of conflict. But also, it's very important to find a different uh, aspect. Also, for this reason, the, our choice to work uh, in the archaeological site is something connected deeply with this dynamic of the memory, with the dynamic of the history. For example, the question, what is heritage, is also a classical topic for the humanistic uh, studies and research but also is a political issue always is something because the memory is not fixed it is something always in movement and we transform the memory century by century decades after decades and also for example the memory of uh, 40 years ago is not the same of nowadays of this moment as transformed a lot and also we re re rewrite always the history and also we regenerate the memory for my studies for my writings also for my work in theater the lesson of Michel Foucault was very very important perhaps we arrived by a very strange path to choose to continue to work uh, on these topics. But it's very important, this aspect, because we continue to discover a, a different opportunity. Generally, in UNESCO and in ITI, we are very aware about the uh, very strong uh, opportunity that performing arts can give to overcome the conflict. In many in a international debate and discussion, is defined this dimension like a, a diplomatic action 
by the ground. It's a basic di diplomatic action. It's a low profile diplomatic action. The performing arts and the, the cultural exchange that can create a very important and different approach. Now, uh, uh, I, we have uh, uh, different uh, hosts uh, in uh, this meeting. Uh, Ingrid Petku, I, I don't know if the pronounce is correct. Please. It's okay, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, it, it's good yeah. to, to, to ask also. This is the, an opportunity for me because generally I can uh, have some mistake. Uh, from the National History and Archaeology, Archaeology Museum of Costanza and with uh, Christian Cialera, also from uh, the Museum of Costanza, and Ivanka Apostolava Bascar, North Macedonian Center of International Theatre Institute, Konstantinos Capodistias and, Capodistias and Giovanna Capodistia from Teatro Tsitsaki in Brussels, Greece, and Lucio De Paulis and Carol Agatto and Sofia Chiarello for Augmented and Virtual Reality Lab of the Department of Engineering of University of Salento. Welcome to everybody. Now I take the floor to Ingrid from the National History and Archaeology Museum of Constance. Thank you. Just a second to share my screen and after I start. Oh, okay. So share. And five. It's okay. Okay. It's uh, the full screen or just uh, the slide? Uh, is the PowerPoint general? It's not full screen. Uh, uh, I five. F five. Okay. 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 Yeah. So I will start. So in the recent years, the Museum of National History and Archaeology Constanza has participated in the several European projects focused on the promotion and perseveration of European cultural and historical heritage and highlighting the unique characteristic of multi-ethnic communities. One of these programs took place between July 2018 and March 2019 and was entitled Legend of Circular Ruins. It was the first contact with the friends from Astragali Teatro, Euphonia in Lecce, and this program developed under the auspicious of Creative Europe provide to be a real success. Four years ago, our museum got involved in the partner state theater Constanza in organizing the artistic residency in Dobroja and contribute with, with specialized in the field organizing the hosting at the same time in Constanza, various heritage promotion activity symposium, colloquium, guided tours in various archaeological sites. At the same time, our colleagues of the museum participated in the residencies held in Lecce, Nivica in Albania and Segovia, Spain, presenting the lecture aimed to demonstrating the close connection between art, mythology and history between the artistic act and the legend and showing the relevance of ancient vestiges and of historical truth of the theatrical art. So the success of the Legend of Circular Ruins project was a sign in encouraged to us to participate also this project to promote the communion cultural heritage. This time the Constanza Museum participate as a full-fledged partner, which is why the agenda of activities we propose is extremely rich. During the residence in September organized Right in Constanza, we will have the opportunity to show our friends from other countries the richness of the Brojan historical cultural heritage. Partners from Greece, Italy, Macedonia will be able to admire the impressive cultural heritage that the Greek civilization of the world have left on this West Pontic territory. During the residency in September, archaeological sites will be visited such as Histria, the oldest urban settlement in Romania founded 2006 years ago, the Tropeum Traiani, Adam Clisi Museum Complex, the Capidava Roman Fort, or any Sala Fortress founded by the Republic of Genoa in the Middle Ages, most likely at the end of the 13th and the beginning of the 14th century. 
Obviously, during the residency in Romania, our guests will be able to admire the patrimonial wealth of the modern city of Constanza, which today overlaps the ruin of the ancient Tomis. Let's not forget the Tomis. A 2000 years old city was for many years a home for the great Latin poet, the exilate Publius Ovidius Naso, who lived here for nine years until his death. On the territory of the settlement, especially in the old part of the city, numerous ancient vestiges can be found. It is about the Cathedral Archaeological Park, where artifacts from the time of the foundation of the Tomis were discovered in the 6th century BC. The archaeological part of the city hall, the Great Gate of the Citadel, the painted Hippogeum Dam, and the edifice with mosaic or the Roman bath, and the less most likely dated for the city's heyday from the first century AD, from the time of Imperial Constantine the Great. The title of Constanza residence, border and cross border, is a very appropriate one, given that the Brogian ancient Citia was always a province on the edge of the empire, a place where roads and culture and population were intersected and where female deity clothed uh, could have been appropriate subject, such a residence, if not Hecate, the goddess of the growth, divinity of underworld and magic, a fog in which the Black Sea is involved in the days of the cold season, the cult of this goddess is very popular in Tomis, a fact uh, provided by the artifacts uh, that our museum hosts today. Here you can see the reliefs of statue of the goddess, and also there is an inscription mention. Uh, five of them part of the famous treasury from sculpture. Here and here. So the experience in Dobroja, Romania is not only me, meant to highlight the rich ancient heritage, but also is the realities of the present of the vestiges of more modern and contemporary areas. The visit to Constanza represents an extraordinary opportunity to get the know of the people in this land, the costume of the tradition, the various cohabitating communities, the art, the music, and why not? It's very complex gastronomy. It's an opportunity to get a touch with the complex culture formed on the border between the East and the West in a Romanian land where a sweet, mysterious and attractive perfume of the Levant left over from the Ottoman rules still persists. It should be mentioned that our museum will contribute offering specialty at assistant in the case, in the case if the other residences as well going to present right and shuddled event, new elements from straighten the connection between the countries participating in the project. For example, Lucius Ennius Ferox, a Praetorian attested in the Thomas in the first century AD, is originally from Italy, being the descendant of the famous family from the ancient city from Rudia, a city whose ruins can be found today in the vicinity of Lecce. Ovid also write in his poems, none other than the daughter of the goddess Memosis, the goddess of memory, who is the subject of, res of residence in Zakynthos. Last but not least, Hestia, the deity who makes the subject of residence in Italy, goddess of heart and the heart fire. It's a deity specific to the Greeks from Milet, uh, those who founded colonies in Dobroja, such as Tomis or Histria. For all of the above, we believe that our participation in this project can bring more quality and color in shipping, a more complex picture of the interaction of the partners involved. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you very much. Now I will give the floor to Ivanka. Of the North Macedonian Center of the International Theatre Institute. Thank you very much. Um, can you open the screen? Um, I will start with our um, publication sections uh, where we publish uh, plays of our.
contemporary emerging uh, playwrights. And uh, this year they will have opportunity to join uh, the workshop uh, led by Fabio Toledi in, at the beginning of uh, April in Skopje. And uh, I think this is a good intro uh, and it's uh, one of our main activities uh, in the frames of uh, uh, North Macedonian ITI Center. Uh, so we have a uh, few editions, and uh, the most developed is theater and performing arts. Then theater comics edition of literature to stage. It is the new edition. And visual catharsis, like editions, copy whispers, screams, and dramatizations, and edition dramatic inversions. Uh, currently, we are preparing uh, Lady with a Hat. Uh, it is... Uh, uh, um, a book for youth, who is written by a uh, Slovenian um, author Masha Ogrižak and uh, is rich with illustrations. We choose this book because um, uh, it was uh, inspirational base for uh, animation movie, inspirational base for uh, puppetry theater performance. And that's our context uh, of interest, uh, uh, also supporting and publishing in translation or originals books who have, uh, how can I say, uh, uh, um, uh, who, who have after life uh, being adapted into theater performance or film or animation. Last year, in the frames of uh, dramatic inversions, uh, we publish electronic anthology of best contemporary uh, domestic Macedonian playwrights, uh, plays written in the period between 2010 and 2022. So uh, we published 25 uh, plays and we separate them in section female perspective of uh, uh, electronic anthology and male perspective of electronic anthology. So if we analyze uh, both approaches, we can very clearly detect who are uh, the basic, the core topics that are um, obsessing our playwrights. And those topics are connected with a uh, uh, huge, massive brain drain, uh, gaster biting in foreign countries, corruptions in our countries, uh, problem with um, 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 corrupted institution and the institutions and the consequences of it. So a lot of political, actual political problems are involved. Um, then um, in the frames of last year activities, we published four plays translated uh, in Macedonian language uh, written by uh, European and Slovenian uh, contemporary playwright Simona Semenic. And it was a very good intro into her uh, feministic point of view. Uh, her capacity of uh, creating contemporary plays and the the way she chooses sources of inspiration who are transformed into contemporary uh, dramatic uh, um, cries and reactions uh, uh, following her style. A uh, playwright from Serbia, Filip Gruic, and uh, it is interesting to notice how uh, these young playwrights are following the uh, the writing approach similar to Simona Semenic. They don't use um, interpunctions. Uh, they uh, use very free use of language. The language is very is free from a capital letter. The language and the writing are free not only from capital letter, are free from interpunctions, and that's how interpunctions. So that's how they give freedom to the directors and through to the collective authors to uh, to take the liberty. Uh, of uh, any kind of construction and deconstructions uh, based on uh, this uh, um, uh, original, um, how can I say, uh, place. Then last year we translate a very uh, performative, very theatrical contemporary poetry written by a Montenegrin feministic playwright, um, uh, sorry, performer and um, poet and writer, Katarina Saric, the death of Madame Dupin. I think this woman is a genius and uh, uh, she writes with a lot of passion uh, and she writes like she's a symbolist or expressionist uh, from the 19th century. You can smell and feel the blood in her writing, the intensity of her fights. And I think she's very, very, very inspiring and suitable 
for near future theater performance if some of the directors, female or male directors, are interested to transform and to stage her poetry into uh, scenic art. Uh, then we translate Mater Medea, um, uh, um, playwright by Fabio Toledi and his point of view, uh, written in collaboration with his uh, 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 co-writers, co actually co-creators, uh, a group of uh, European um, uh, actors and actresses. And uh, afterwards, if I have time, I will show you the um, uh, digital uh, exhibition inspired from Mater Medea. And the illustrations are, theatrical uh, illustrations are created by um, young graphic designer and illustrator Snežana Davidkova. Uh, then last year, we translate Rokerišta, uh, a contemporary play by Sasha Blazewski. He is based in Prilep, uh, and he's very talented. But, you know, it is very difficult for our uh, established playwrights, not to mention the rights. It's very difficult to be staged on stay on, on, on in, in the theaters in our country. Uh, they are brutally neglected and that's how we, in collaboration with several other um, edition houses and from the literary section, we support and uh, the visibility of playwriting by publishing them. And for now, that's that's the only way we can do that. Unfortunately, then we publish Be a Clock, uh, a very good, very comical, very surrealistic uh, play by uh, written by Eva Kamchevska, one of the youngest, uh, very talented female playwrights in my country. And uh, last year, uh, we also published uh, uh, like a grain of uh, sand, uh, I would say a masterpiece uh, of uh, playwright and uh, theater uh, performance uh, written and staged by Massimo Barilla and Salvatore Arena from Manacuma Teatro. They are also uh, members of ITI uh, Italian Center. Uh, well, in the context of uh, supporting young playwrights, uh, I can show you uh, six plays uh, written by contemporary playwrights, one Serbian, uh, for Macedonian, uh, Nina Plavanec and her uh, um, play, This Tomb is a Whorehouse, a very talented lady. Thank, uh, thankfully, her uh, plays are already staged in theaters in Slovenia and in Serbia, thanks to her collaboration with uh, director, uh, director and composer Marian Nechak, who is working uh, in a relation between uh, Croatia, uh, Serbia, and Slovenia. Then Epilogue 2077, 77, written by Nikola Kuzelov, uh, who is a very talented scriptwriter, actor, and playwright. And this is a pretty surrealistic and futuristic, um, uh, transhumanistic uh, uh, play. Uh, then we have we publish a, a Boy, a play by Sinan Rakipovsky. Uh, Sinan is a young actor and uh, self-taught playwright, extremely talented young, per young person, and also orphan. Uh, he's a young playwright with uh, coming from the community of orphans without uh, having parents. And he's talking about this brutal, rough reality of uh, growing up and uh, fighting for your place under the sun uh, in such a circumstances uh, coming from, uh, uh, from the institutions like orphanages. The next play, uh, the next uh, ebook is uh, written by uh, Mia Volt, Volt. So we publish uh, 12 of her playwrights. I think this uh, young woman is extremely, extremely talented. She lives in a shtip and she's work in a local museum. And her poetry in uh, playwriting is very strong. So we made something like a, um, a retrospective in electronic book. And we title uh, this ebook like uh, Dramatic Bombs, Tensions for Scenic Catharsis and Explosion. So throw your uh, uh, intuition. Then we publish her contemporary play, Big Deal, uh, and uh, this uh, play is uh, also uh, staged. Uh, this year will be staged uh, in the frames of theater performing lab conducted by uh, Japanese Japanese ITI Center. 
Then we publish uh, the new one of the new play uh, one of the new uh, latest plays by very very young and very talented uh, playwright Mia Nikolovska, uh, starving uh, act uh, artist or um, artist in hunger, uh, and uh, uh, it talks about um, the position of contemporary authors, particularly in, in a Balkanic countries and. Uh, uh, who are surrounded, particularly our country, surrounded with pretty lousy cultural policy. So I don't know how much time do I have. Uh, I have. Uh, please, uh, Ivanka, if you can say something about uh, your action connected with the project, because yes, the, yes, we have not so, a very long time for the. Of course. Okay. So uh, I will be very short, actually. So we, uh, our collaboration, we uh, will start at. At the beginning of April, with Fabio Toledi's uh, workshop uh, based on uh, experiences of conflict uh, uh, in theater and uh, the methodology of social theater, something that is lacking in our country. So he will work with a group of 20 um, practitioners in theater, combination of professionals and uh, emerging artists. And uh, it will be a very good chance uh, for our theater community to be inspired and uh, educated and acknowledged with a uh, uh, fresh approach that can be very useful for their um, uh, theatrical work. And as a follow up, we will create a video theater project uh, inspired by um, Mm, anthological poetry uh, written in the 60s uh, uh, in the uh, 20th century, uh, Kalesnica, written by a feministic uh, and very uh, inspiring poet um, uh, um, Svetlana Jocic. And uh, uh, this uh, process of video theater project we will use also for investigating and researching uh, um, um, uh, cultural heritage connected with the conflict, particularly the military um, uh, graveyard in uh, Skopje. We have a French military graveyard, uh, a British military graveyard, uh, who are dated from uh, the First World War and the Balkan Wars. So we are going to use also them as a source of um, inspiration for taking off uh, visual materials for uh, uh, textures who will be processed in, uh, with the tools uh, of of, um, uh, augmented and virtual reality uh, in order to be used as a set design um, effects uh, during the upcoming uh, theater performance who will be made uh, uh, next year as a follow-up of the materials created during the residence, residences and workshops uh, in the frame of Eteria project. I hope so. I was clear. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ivanka. Sorry for no, no, uh, to fine. call the, the time, but also there are a lot of things that also it's very important to, to, to start. And uh, of course, uh, I would like also to meet the, the young artist that has uh, worked on uh, Medea this year, uh, Mater Medea, sorry. And it's, it's, very, it's a very important chance for you. It's, it's a pleasure. Now I give the floor to the most important director presenting this uh, Zoom meeting, Konstantinos Kapodistias from uh, Greece, Teatro Tsitsakitos, and Giovanna Kapodistia from the same theater. Double in one. Yes. <laughs> Two for one, like a uh, supermarket uh, offers. Yes, yes, double, double. Okay. Double side. Anyway, I'll tell uh, hello to everybody. Nice to see you again. Uh, I'll start uh, with a few words about uh, our theater. And after Giovanna uh, will speak to you for the project. Theatro Cisakinthos, it is the traditional, our traditional title here in Greece was founded in February at uh, 1982 by professional actors of uh, Zagithian descent. Its main goals uh, are uh, the research and the study of Zagithian traditional theater, we call it homilies, and the application of its uh, aesthetics in uh, theatrical uh, germs of similar expression. 
with this uh, conception, Theatro Cisaknetos created a workshop uh, through which all uh, the basic plays of the Zakynthia traditional theater have been present and studied, like Evgena, who is written by Monteleza in uh, 1642, Comodia των Ψευτογιατρών, Comedia of False Doctors, is the, uh, the uh, translation, by, who is written by Savoyas Rusmelis in 1745. Hasis by Dimitris Guzelis, uh, is written uh, in 1792. As well as uh, numerous uh, other plays and the historical play, Omilia Tsizakinthos in uh, 2007 that refers to the historical events that, uh, that took place in uh, Zakynthos between uh, 1480 until uh, 1864, around uh, 400 years. Written, uh, it, it was written in the traditional uh, lyrical uh, measure of the Capendasilagos and uh, supported uh, by visual material of this historical period. It has also a president, uh, pres president in a more modern form, a play inclu including the most uh, significant uh, scenes of the Zakynthian uh, theater, both uh, scholar and uh, traditional. In uh, addition to these activities, Theatre Tsizakynthos also formed a professional uh, theatrical group with which it's present the plays Hardopectis by M. Skomuzis, La Mosqueta by Rosante, Zosta Dem by Boleros, Can't Pay, Can't Pay by, by Dario Fo, a Mid Summer Nights Dream by William Shakespeare, The Secret of Contes Valerna by Gregorios Xenopoulos, Philandro by Batelis Horn, Antigone by Sophocles, and it was adapted by Bertolt Brecht, Fear and Misery of Third Reich by Bertolt Brecht also, and uh, an adaptation of various Grimm's uh, brothers' uh, fairy tales under the title Mythi Mythi Paramythi. In the years of operation, Theodor Zagdros and uh, have participated in various projects in national and, uh, and European level and European level. They have participated as partner and as lead partner in the European program, such as Raphael, lead partner in the project, the areas of the Renaissance theatrical style of the Ionian Islands, Creta and Cyprus, with other partners being the Italian University del Sacro Cuore in Brescia, the municipality of Heraklion, Creta and the municipality of Limassol. Also, we take part in many projects with Astragali Theatre and ITI, in Interreg, uh, in uh, Cultural 2000, uh, Create Europe Now, etc., etc. They have also received uh, subsidies from, uh, from the Minister of Culture of Greece to accomplish uh, several projects in regional and local level. I hope that I give you a picture of us. And now Giovanna will speak you about the project. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, I think yes. And also you can see my screen. All right, I would like to speak a little bit about uh, the project and the residency that will be held in Zakynthos in on November of this year. First of all, this is a picture uh, that uh, pictures the Omilias um, Krinos and Anthea. It's a picture that shows how this uh, traditional type of theater that we have in Zakynthos until now, until today, it's happening. Uh, it's a popular type of theater that we will have the chance uh, when everyone will come in Zakynthos on November to speak more about it. And also because now is the period of the carnival in Zakynthos, we also have an augmented uh, presentation of this uh, popular type of theater. I will move forward. And this is some pictures of older um, uh, theatrical spectacles and presentations of theater of Zakynthos that Kostas Kapodistrias told, told before. 
Now this is the theater that now is um, the seat of uh, theater of Zakynthos. Is the Avriakos Kipo Theater? Is a theater under the olive trees. Now its main, uh, of course, because an open theater. Now the main uh, presentation, it the main uh, work is happening during the summer, and it hosts uh, concert, plays, theatrical performances, exhibitions, all the areas of art. Um, and now we are going forward to our uh, project and where this project will take place. This project, uh, which is called uh, Eteria, and um, the title of um, Zakynthian Residency is called Conflicts and Memories. And uh, will, took play, will take place uh, in the village of Melinado. That is not a very known village in Zakynthos because it's a very, very small village that um, is a settlement with a height of 15 meters above sea level, uh, 55, excuse me. Um, and according to 2011 list, it has it had uh, 44 uh, inhabitants, which means that it's a really, really small village, but uh, it has a very strong community. And crossing the settlements of Melinado village, we can find the remains uh, of the ancient temple of Opitaida Artemis, where today are the ruins of the church of uh, Saint Demetrius. I use Demetrius is the church. And is a post Byzantine church that was built around 1478, according to the holy historical uh, Ioannis Kutsorolas. Um, Kurtzolas, um, who is probably considered to be the founder of the Cleope Basilica of the House of Toka. Now this uh, temple that we call it the Artemis Temple, because um, it is um, the temple that was dedicated to the goddess of Artemis, was built in the rhythm of a unique basilica and was founded of the ancient church of Artemis of Petaida and the columns of the god of the Virgin Mary serve as supports of the narthex of the church. An ancient marble slab with uh, a discreet inscription on the priest of Artemis of Petais was placed as a holy altar. And the marble base of the sword of Opetaida Artemis that supported the altar is now in the Museum of Zakynthos, which is the Museum of Zakynthos is in the city center. The base bears a votive inscription on Artemis Opetaida. Now we cannot see it very well from this image, but it's uh, when we will be in this place, we will be in this place, we can see this. There is a um, we don't have an exactly date, but um, it's, um, we consider that it was in the ancient times and uh, the ruins of the church have been declared a historical preservable uh, monument. Now, uh, these are some pictures that we took during December that um, from the, because you, as you can see, it's an abandoned, uh, unfortunately, um, new monument, archeological monument. I would like also to speak about uh, our residency that will take place uh, in Zakynthos on, on November. And uh, practically, this residency will include uh, two weeks of intense rehearsals from the performance that will take place in this small village. And But also, it's very important to indicate that um, the community in, uh, of the Melinada will, play, play, will take, uh, play an important role in, uh, the, um, in the progress of this residency, because uh, we, will be, we will organize a lot of um, community telling actions especially on the topic of the world world of the second world world and um, the memories that we we have now in Zakynthos of this uh, of this war and also i don't remember that they have uh, told i have told the name of the residency and the myth around uh, the residency which is the, the goddess uh, mnemosyne which in greek means memory and we, we would like to indicate and to enhance um, the leftovers of the memories that we, the, what are still until our days from the Second World World and how this war was um, influence, influenced um, 
uh, the people's life and uh, for many, many decades after. And uh, it's um, a very important issue also to tell. And it's a very important also to work with um, uh, ITI Macedonia that um, uh, to work in this conflict um, issue that uh, creates a lot of different uh, thinking. And um, also, um, we will have local association, high school students that will focus on the theme of the transformation of the conflict. And um, um, we will um, work with this uh, association on that. And we also will have an association in Zakynthos, in Lesky of Zakynthos, that will help us with, uh, with, um, with how to develop this issue. These are some other images of the place of uh, Melinado, as you can see of the temples, and uh, also, of course, of the olive trees that are uh, a characteristic of uh, Zykinthos Island, also of Salento. And um, here is the last uh, image of this, and uh, we are very happy, very glad to have the opportunity to work also with uh, the Archaeological Museum of Constanza and uh, the archaeological, uh, the um, important scientists that work there that also can see and uh, understand what uh, was the ancient um, monuments that left now that left now in Zakynthos and of course with the uh, ITI Italy and Macedonia that uh, will work all together on November. Thank you so much. Thank you to Capodistria's clan mm -hmm. and also yes I, I joke with Costas because we work from many many years. Ah. 25 years we worked together and many many, many years <laughs> we were able to survive so, yeah. <laughs> but so, I, look young, I look younger than you you know because i work on theater for this this is i am 19 years old you, you have to look older eh? yes <laughs> okay now i give the floor to lucia de paulis that has chosen the name lucius for the for the is an homage to the <laughs> archaeological dimension. Okay. Okay. Good morning to everybody. Do you see my screen? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, my presentation, my my speech of today, is about the use of extended reality for performing arts, in particular, the contribution that we can give to the. Ethereum Ethereum project. Uh, the, in this picture, you can see the team of the Aware Lab. Aware Lab is a laboratory of research laboratory of the University of Salento. Uh, the research activities are focused on the use of uh, extended virtual and mixed reality in different fields uh, in medicine surgery in cultural heritage and education and also uh, in industrial field and uh, now are connected uh, online carola gatto and uh, uh, sofia chiarello they will be involved in the Teria project and uh, we have also um, uh, we had the opportunity to collaborate with other artists, uh, with uh, Fabio Toledi and uh, Astragali Theatre uh, in another European project, uh, Antigone Pride. And uh, in this project, uh, we try to, to use the technology that we are able to, to manage in, uh, in different fields, also in performing arts. And in particular, you showed a lot of monuments in your picture. And uh, we had a long experience in the building uh, in the virtual environment or build application of augmented reality or mixed reality in cultural uh, heritage and using different uh, technological solutions. But the, 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 just to explain what what is the extended reality is a new term that is a technological umbrella 
which include uh, virtual environment, augmented reality, and mixed reality. And our idea is to use this technology in, uh, in the Teria project. The question is this, are extended reality and performing arts made each other? And uh, we have to try to, to reply, to give an answer to this question in the project. Uh, because usually people are often skeptical about the use of extended reality technology into the performing arts because they don't understand uh, how this technology can fit into uh, performing arts. Uh, but I'm sure that the collaboration between the worlds of performing arts and uh, extended reality can provide a lot of new opportunities and could uh, lead to the new exciting form of uh, artistic creation. We have to consider that in this, in this period, we had uh, an health emergency due to the COVID pandemic, uh, pandemic situation due to the COVID, and we changed completely the way um, the performing arts are enjoyed. We have a lot of problems, a lot of difficulties, but also the situation creates a lot of new opportunities. In particular, using, by using the digital tools, artists can continue to stage plays and share them with the, the public that could be very, very far, not exactly in the same, in the same location, in the same venue. Let me uh, show you just the project in which uh, we are involved. When you will come in Italy during the residency in uh, Lecce, you will have the opportunity to visit uh, my lab and to know in detail the application that we developed but uh, in, in several fields. But we start to work in the performing arts just a uh, um, few years ago with this project, uh, a Holoteca project, that is an interesting uh, experience that we are doing. And the, the main goals of this project are the enhancement of creativity, uh, in particular in performing arts, uh, to, um, to do a scientific research about the combination between arts and technology, the inclusion of public with special needs, uh, and the accessibility of contest. I will show you just uh, some uh, very short video, uh, because the aim of this project is to create some holograms. Um, holograms that could be combined in the real scene with real artists, with real performers. And in this video, you can see that the dancer is an hologram and the, the, the gesture of the hologram permits to change the background and the pianist is, uh, is real. Yeah. And the idea is that to combine holograms and real people in the same area, in the same scene. But also another very interesting project, or a very, very interesting goal of the project is to break uh, perceptual barriers and to give, to provide a new approach to the audience, in particular, including permit the accessibility uh, to users with hearing problems, hearing disabilities. And uh, usually uh, the theater or the opera is not the, the best place for these people because they don't have the possibility to, to, to hear them. Uh, but in our project, in, in Oloteca project, the idea is to have also some performance of like LIS, um, Italian language for gesture. And uh, in that way, uh, it's possible to have uh, normal people with any disability, with people with uh, a hearing disability in the same place in the theater. 
in which way we built the holograms? Uh, you can see in these pictures that all the scene is covered by a green screen. And in that way, we are able to isolate all uh, the dancer or the people or some objects that are not green. And we will do a post-processing in order to build the hologram. And then we use some projectors, uh, some different layers, uh, special uh, layers in order to project the hologram and uh, combine the hologram with real, with real people in the scene. But when we will come in Lecce during the residence in Italy, we have uh, uh, the opportunity to discuss with you about this technology and to find um, new solution uh, about the use of, of the holograms in the theater. But also we have the possibility to show you the different technological solutions that we uh, used in the past in my lab and we find a way to collaborate, strongly collaborate also in performing arts. Which is our contribution to the Teria project? We will do some master classes or focus on the augmented virtual reality for performing arts. We have the opportunity working with the, the artists to share information and knowledge with uh, the artists. That is very, very important for us because the world of the artists is uh, not common for us. Uh, in our, during the project, we have the um, possibility to develop uh, a co-creation process with the artists for the production of site-specific international performance, and also to explore the possibility that this technology, the uh, extended reality technology, can provide in performing arts. Of course, it's a strong work that we have to do together in order to to combine our knowledge, our use of the, these technologies with your experience. And I guess that the, the more important word is the contamination. We have to work together in order to, com com to contaminate each other uh, about the languages, about the methods, about the tools. And in that way, we can try to answer to the question that I, uh, I uh, said at the beginning of my presentation. Can performing arts and extended reality uh, work uh, combined together? I think so. And uh, in, part, in, in addition, we can move from the theater stage to unconventional space, cultural site, for instance. And uh, the idea of the use of the, this technology permits, permits us to, to have some sensible space, space with some sensors, with some IoT solution, uh, able to discover the, human, the human's behavior in the, in the space, but also to have sensitive spaces because uh, that means that the environment, the space, is able to react to the, to the uh, situation created by the humans in this environment, and also sensual space to provide to the user, to the people, information by the, the space using some specific uh, technologies. And also in very, very important for me is the possibility to have interaction in, via, in real time. For instance, to use the video mapping or holograms, a interactive video mapping, the holograms in order to have some performance that could be very exciting, uh, very, uh, very new. And uh, uh, I guess that working together, I'm very glad and very happy to collaborate with you in this project. I have to thank Fabio and Astragali that involved us in this project, uh, Astragali Theater. Uh, and I guess that we have the possibility to, to work together to find, to, uh, to answer to the question that I posed in, the, the, in my previous uh, slide. Thanks a lot for your attention. Thank you, Lucio, and also, 
Carola and Sofia that we are not able to see, but we feel their presences with us. Oh, okay, you are here. Okay, okay. Yes, we you are know, here. Like, you know, the, the presence of ghosts is very important. No, no, no. In we, are in, we are in the same room and we are having. There is, no, there is no theater without spirits and ghosts. Also, for this is good. <laughs> we are <Okay>. the ghosts. <laughs> no, we are very well trained with this. The phantasma of opera, you know. Okay. Uh, well, thank you very much to everybody, and also I want to recall that we have uh, we will launch very soon a European call for artists to participate in the activities of the residencies in uh, Romania, in Greece, and uh, in Italy. Uh, it's it's an important it's a part very important. Also, I would like just before to. Uh, finish this uh, meeting together. A few words connected with the uh, importance of social theater. Uh, we have worked a lot uh, on this field, and also I I think that is also is a an aesthetic choice. This one is not only about the role, the social role of theater, but also something connected with the artistic research that we have conducted and we continue to conduct in these, uh, in these years. Also another aspect that as I called uh, uh, Ivanka is uh, connected with a very important role that we are completely convinced played by the women. Also uh, I, I can only just recall uh, in this period, what we are living in Iran, what is very important, the community of artists and the women uh, connected with the artistic research in all the fields, it, it's very important. And also, you know that we have worked a lot uh, all over the world uh, in uh, four continents, uh, always maintaining the preeminency of the women role. And also, we are convinced that this project uh, with the figure uh, of the myth that we have recalled is not something connected with the past. And also, I'm sure that our uh, archaeologists, our friends archaeologists, know very well that the archaeology is something important in present. It's not something connected with the past. It's something connected with the role of the present. And also, you know that uh, the performing arts also uh, in Italy we say something very precise is spettacolo dal vivo, uh, living performances. It's spettacolo dal vivo is the definition for the theater, and also in, this definition is very important because it's something connect with the living people, with the living women, with the living men, and also in the concrete places. And also I think that. The opportunity that we will have uh, in Zakin source is very important also to work with this connection that uh, is a archaeological site connected with the transformation in church and also that now is a ruins and because as there is not nothing fixed but also is our role to transform the memory generally to also to rebuild the, the idea and also of something is connected with the uh, awareness of the value of the places the value of the place is something very important but also the ruins uh, it is something very very essential so there are some texts extraordinary of the very uh, ancient writer italian writer of the end of uh, 18th century, that is uh, Antonio Verri, is connected with the ruins, the Roman ruins, and the watching the Roman ruins start to create a new opportunity to recreate a new gaze on the objects, a new gaze on the our life. And also, I think that this project, in this dimension of social theater, can create a new opportunity. Not in something that is connected with the mainstream, but something that is connected with the concrete life of everybody. And also, I think that in this way, 
the role of university, the role of uh, International Theatre Institute, the role of museum is something very, very clear. We have, we have in common this very, very important duty to recreate a new opportunities connected with our heritage. And also the heritage sometimes is connected with the conflict. Also, one aspect of that I, I would like to develop more and more in the, this project is something connected with the dimension of a, a topic, uh, a deep topic, not, not, not declared, is the body of enemies. The body of enemies is something very, very uh, important and also uh, something that we can develop like an element very, very essential. Also, for me, it's a, a very great pleasure also to consider the presence of the uh, a Greek theater with the North Macedonian center of IPI, because uh, we have to be able to transform the conflict in an opportunity to rewrite uh, the future that can share together also. And this is the role of culture generally. But it's not, it's not simple, because sometimes the culture has the role to confirm the conflict to maintain the role of the separation and uh, of superiority of something, of someone against someone else, and so on. You know, I think that it's very clear also the, dy the dynamic of the colonialism. The, in a certain way, all our territories are uh, involved in the dimension of colonialism too. And also, it's very important to create in another point of view, in another perspective. And also, in this sense, it's very important to use the new technology in a humanistic uh, dimension of values. Also, it's a very old term, humanistic. I don't like to use because it's something not connected with the women dimension that we want to develop. That there is a very long debate on this, but also. Uh, Okay, we, we can discuss only also on this, but also I think that the value that we we can promote as always to recreate is not something that is fixed. And also for this, I, I want to thank you, uh, everybody. Uh, the next step is the uh, workshop, uh, uh, the co-working in Lecce. Uh, from 20 to 23 March, then the workshop uh, in uh, North Macedonia with Kofie, conducted by me, and uh, the title of the workshop is Unknown Memories of Conflicts. Uh, this, I, I would like also to spend just a few words. This dimension of unknown uh, uh, is a, a very basic element to understand the dynamic of the conflict. Because uh, there is a term of uh, the philosopher, the German philosopher Hegel, of Anerkennung, the knowledge of the other. When we are not able to uh, introduce the knowledge of, a, of the other, the possibility of the conflict became very, very strong. Also, the first, because it's very difficult to have a conflict with the person that I know, that I enter in contact. The dimension of unknown is something that is a, a dimension that creates the condition for the conflict, to generate the diversity, the otherness, like an element of conflict and so on. Also for this is a very important term, also this one. And also, yes, we will start, we will launch very soon the European call, uh, and also, uh, thank you very much to everybody. Thank you, Simonetta, for the technical support and stay in touch and see you soon. See you bye soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yasu Kostagi. Yasu Fabiako.